still trying to consume the station, and I've picked up multiple hull breaches. I believe in you, Morgan. Make this count. Okay. So, my voice is obviously familiar. Probably sound more tired than usual. It's been never-ending, setting up the rooms and protocols to test the new mods. The risk is substantial, but if we succeed, copying neural networks from the Typhon onto human minds is gonna change everything. So, I'm putting myself in the sim. I've done everything I can to make sure I don't wind up lobotomized. One last safety measure. Let me introduce October. Say hello. Hello, Dr. Yu. October will help you remember what you're supposed to do if things go sideways. Once testing starts, there's no going back. If... when they uninstall the mods and reset the test, it'll rewind me. I'll forget everything. Theoretically, they could keep me reliving the same day over and over, and I'd never know. But if you're listening to this, that's probably what happened. It also means I don't know if I can trust my own brother. Alex won't like what I have to say next. I've started plans for a prototype null wave strong enough to kill every Typhon on Talos 1. I hid a copy of the plan on top of the data tower by the scary chair. You know the one I'm talking about. Alex agreed to explore the idea, but I know my brother. First sign of trouble, he'd rather blow it all up and blame someone else. So you're probably on your own. There's a lot at stake here. Too late to stick our heads in the sand. You know what to do.
You anticipated the kind of appeal Alex would make. Sibling bonds. History. You program me to refute him point by point. However, we can skip that. A Typhon the size of a skyscraper is currently eating Talos 1 for lunch. Ergo, Alex is wrong. Destroy the station. Just as you planned. The blast will take the monster down with it. January's right, Morgan. We can't let these things get back to Earth, even if one of them hit Earth's side. I'll do what I can to help you from down here. Who knows, maybe we can give this thing hardware. If the idea hasn't occurred to you, I'm sure it will eventually. Don't do it. I can't predict what would happen if you scan the Apex, but all my models point to suffering.
occur to you, I'm sure it will eventually. Don't do it. I can't predict what would happen if you scan the apex, but all my models point to suffering.
dangerous level of explosive gas detected, please evacuate and avoid all open flames or sparks until repairs can be made. gas detected. Please evacuate and avoid all open flames or sparks until repairs can be made. Warning. Dangerous level of explosive gas detected. Please evacuate. The dose of Morgan Sellite. Do it. Good work. The reactor's primed and capable of delivering close to 30 megatons. More than enough. I'll meet you on the bridge for the last part. Hurry, Morgan. There won't be anything left to detonate if we're too late.
Warning, dangerous level of explosive gas detected. Please evacuate and avoid all open flames. Warning, dangerous level of explosive gas detected. Please evacuate. Warning, dangerous level of explosive gas detected. Please evacuate and avoid all open flames or sparks until repairs can be made. Warning, dangerous level of explosive gas detected. Please evacuate. Warning, dangerous level of explosive gas detected. Please evacuate and avoid all open flames or sparks until repairs can be made. Warning, dangerous level of explosive gas detected. Please evacuate and avoid all open flames or sparks until repairs can be made. Warning, dangerous level of explosive gas detected. Please warning, dangerous level of explosive gas detected. Microgravity detected.
Who? What am I talking to? My name is January. Morgan. Morgan? Maybe. I, I see a person who looks like Morgan, you. Morgan, be cautious. Your brother is unstable. He may not permit you to activate the self-destruct. Also, he's armed. Unstable? Is that a joke, Operator? You've let this machine poison you. Did it tell you it's not gonna let you off the station? Go on, tell him. Your brother is correct. When you destroy Talos-1, my directive is to ensure that you perish along with it. But you already knew that. It was your idea. No one in their right mind would agree to such a lunatic plan. Not true. History is populated with examples of self-sacrifice for the benefit of others. Easy to say when it's not your skin, robot. I'm sorry, Morgan. You have no idea what that word means. I'm going to put a stop to this nonsense. Painless as possible. Your brother is only stunned. Though, obviously, once you activate the self-destruct, the point is moot. You're still going to activate the self-destruct, aren't you? Please recall, I am acting on your orders. I'm setting down for posterity my deliberation over the fate of the shuttle advent. I'm unable to determine with confidence if the advent departed before being contaminated by the life forms presently overwhelming Talos 1. Best guess, based on telemetry data, advent departed approximately 30 minutes prior to the first incident report logged by security. 30 minutes. It is within that narrow gap of uncertainty I must decide whether or not to remote detonate the shuttle and its five passengers. They may very well be flying a cargo hold full of mimics to an unsuspecting Earth. They may not. Captain! We could sure as hell use that golden gun right about now! I don't... Reactor detonation. It's finished. All the directives you gave me have been completed, all except one. When the station detonates, it will destroy the Apex Typhon and every trace of technology derived from it, including you. But you know this already. It was your idea, after all. The alien neuromods you carry would pose an unacceptable risk to everyone on Earth if you returned. Have a seat, Morgan. You might as well enjoy the view in your final moments. Warning, reactor detonation imminent. Please evacuate Talos 1.
Warning, reactor detonation imminent. I keep having this dream. Now it's time to beat the mind.